Good afternoon, everyone. First, I'm honored to have served for the past eight years. I moved to Aurora in 1999 and married a proud fourth-generation Aurora and 27-year firefighter. When I first met Brad, his tagline was, if it's not an Aurora, it's not <coughs> And you know, he writes, I love this town. And I truly wake up every morning to the last that I live here. We raised our two children, Jennifer and Stephen, and now we're, we have our grandson, Samuel Rodrigo, who loves Aurora. His favorite is Wednesday night music in the park at every Saturday Aurora Farmers Market. When I first moved here, what I loved the most was that I was involved in many town committees and was able to make a difference. The ability to make that difference led me for uh, Toronto Council in 2010. With over, with over 30 years of business experience, uh, I mean, sorry, business experience, problem management, and working for a large telecommunication company, the experience allows me to work well with my council peers because I realize it takes more than just one counselor. We all have to work together to make the town business move forward. I have experience in working with all levels of government and it impacts how we make our decisions on council. And our council produced a reduction of uh, moving from eight councillors to six, which was elected by us, the voters, in 2014 in Aurora and has been smoothly integrated to this election. My respect and passion for heritage is proven in the protection of our properties, our heritage properties, and creating a motion which demands a higher property standard for these precious gems. I strongly supported the purchase of the Mount Granite lands to be served for a park plant, allowing residents in the area, all of Aurora, to enjoy a park instead of a potential subdivision. There are many challenges that we're facing in our stable neighborhoods and require bylaws to protect these, as we're having areas of extra the extra large monster homes which become a fast growing concern and we need these things to be addressed. I introduced a motion to establish traffic advisory board of uh, committee, sorry, to focus and address on our traffic concerns. We did introduce a new app called PlaySer, however, I don't think it's effective enough. If I'm honored to have it re-elected, re -elected, I would pledge to reintroduce the traffic safety board because I do believe this traffic is always a huge concern. I'm excited about the amazing opportunity that Library Square has to deliver. It's a gathering place for many special events, economic development for local businesses, and a downtown that we can really enjoy in addition to the many uh, events that we have in Town Park and others. Um, that we can actually have maybe the Aurora Piazza that we've been doing for a bit For me, most important will be to be, to be sorry, deliver and improve our basic infrastructure which also which includes uh, water quality, waste reduction. Is that going to work? I'm sorry. Well, I just want to say thank you very much for your support as well. And uh, look for the little signs of the Big Red Hearts. Uh, I love this town. I'm 